Hello, welcome to the first video for SCQF Level 3 drumming. We're on the Level 3 now. First video we're going to cover is counting irregular groups, and that will be played at 56 beats per minute. So let's get it. Here we are. Kind of regular groups, triplet and duplet. So, looking at the very first line, simple time, and we know that we're dealing with two beats per bar. So when it's a crotchet, we count the number one. This should be a revision for you, because we've done this before. Counting quavers, it's either one and or two and, depending on whether it's the first group, whoa, first group or the second group. So this is the second group in the bar. So it's two and, and then one, okay? because it's a crotchet. Now this is our first irregular group, because in compound time, or six eights, that would be played as one AD, or two AD, depending on the first or second group in the bar. That doesn't add up to the value of the beat note, and if you don't understand that, then refer back to a theory lesson on irregular groups and duration and such like. You don't need to fully understand that to be able to play this, however, so we could just play it. So that will be 2 with two a D, okay, and it's got the 3 over it because it's a group of compound time notes, which would be here, all right, that group there, but played in simple time. So it's the exact same sound. So we would have 1, 2 and 1, 2 a D, 1 and 2 and 1 a D, 2, and you would have a repeat. So let's see what that feels like at the 56 beats per minute it's asking for. So it's very slow. So it would be here. One, two, and one. Two, a day one, and two, and one, a day two. And you would repeat that. So let's try it. One, two, go. One, two, and one. Two, a day one, and two, and one, a day two. Repeat it. One, two, and one. Two, a day one, and two. Get your triplets, all right. The one, the, the two, uh, the, really stretch them out. Okay. Second line, one and two, uh, the one and two, one, the, the two and one, the, the two. So this line's quite easy as well. So not only are you following whether it's quavers, a triplet, or a crotchet, check if it's above the line, right hand, below the line, left hand. So let's have a go at that. After two, one, two, go, one, and two, a day, one, and two, one, a day, two, and one, a day, two, repeat it, one, and two, a day, one, and two, one, a day, two, and one, a day, two, easy peasy. Now, moving on to the next line, which is your first compound time signature, all right, this is six, eight. So it's going to be two beats per bar, and again, if you don't understand why it's not six beats per bar, then go back to duration table lesson, and it'll tell you. There are time signatures and duration even. So crotchet, be it dotted or not, is going to be the beat notes. That's one. This is the same as this one. All right, so it's two a day. One, two a day, one. And now we've got a duplet. Okay, so we've got the two above the note. All right, although it's kind of squashed in, looks a bit odd. With the, maybe it's just the software used makes it look weird, but it should be the same as the triplet. Should be above the notes. So that's telling us that it's a group of simple notes, like that, but played in compound time. Okay, so we need to show that with the two above the two notes, saying it's a duplet. So that will sound exactly the same as that, and said the exact same as that. So that will be... One, two, a day one, two, and one, a day two, a day one, two. Right, let's try it. Ready? One, two, go. One, two, a day one, two, and one, a day two, a day one, two. Repeat it. One, two, a day one, two, and one, a day two, a day one. Done. And uh, moving on our oh stop the beeps. Moving on our last line. We've got one a day two and one a day two. One 
and two way day one and two. And if you need to, you could write underneath here, you could write one uh, day, like number one, F, D, as in the letter D, two and, and when you write and, do a plus sign, so like so that, okay? Um, let me see, can I write it on here? Is this a rubber? Yep, let me see. One, F, D, so it would be like this, two, and it looks a bit scruffy, but it's not the end of the world. Let's see if I can rub this out. Uh, kinda. Kinda. Rubbing it out very well. It still seems to be there. I'm going to be stuck. Oh no, it's gone. Hey, thank goodness for that. Right, let's get my snapshot tool again. So, one day two and one day two. One and two day one and two. Let's put the metronome on and try it. Ready, one, two, go. One, day two, and one, day two, one, and two, day one, and two. Repeated, one, day two, and one, day two, one, and two, day one, and two. Done. And that's the last exercise. So what we'll do now is try the whole page, top to bottom. Bear in mind, there are no accents on any of the page, so resist the urge to hit out any of the tabs. Especially the triplets and the groups of three. You'll want to go one day, day two day, day. Don't do that. All right, just play it as a tap. Right, let's do the whole page. From the top, repeat each line. One, two, go. One, two, and one. Two day, day one. practice any of them again then rewind the video back to whatever line you need to try. Hugely important right that you get as comfortable as you can with this. Oh didn't mean to do that. It's hugely important even that you get as comfortable as you can with this because moving on our next exercise is counting in simple time. So you're doing three exercises here. Alright you're doing notes that have got or um Exercise that have got crotchets, quavers, semi quavers, and irregular groups. Okay, so we need to get as comfortable as we can with it before we tackle that. So look forward to our next video, which will be counting in simple time.